So I just put out my Mecha vs Kaiju game called Die Kaiju Die. Very late to cash in on Pacific Rim, but, <laughs> but maybe uh, the hype about Pacific Rim 2 will help this out further down the line. I've always been a fan of giant robot as a, as a genre, you know, mecha, kaiju, the, the whole thing. But Pacific Rim, when it came out, gave me an idea of how you could approach this plausibly. To scratch the itch, I made a fan game back in the day. And this is kind of an expansion and a, a new world, an idea built upon that base. It uses Fate because Fate kind of fits that kind of high emotion and the flexibility that I think you need for these kind of games. So it uses Fate and it introduces some new ways of doing things in Fate. So there's a thing called Scale, which should work for other games if you want to do you know, battles between things for different sizes, that the scale mechanic should work fairly nicely with it, other games. So that's that's something you can get from it. <laughs> Setting-wise, I've tried to create a plausible world, at least as plausible as you can get with this kind of thing. So I've set it in a kind of somewhat post-apocalyptic setting. The world has been ravaged by environmental change and energy wars and then these mutations and monsters and things have started to arise. They've forced people to work together. So the world is settled into several large economic and social blocks so they've got rebels within them um, and the UN is much more powerful and much more militaristic um, in this setting. So the characters will be playing mecha pilots and the support staff. And the, the good thing about Fate is that the support staff can actually do things that are useful. So you can have someone tapping away at a computer, running analyses on one of these giant monsters, and they can come up with something and then tag the enemy with a trait, and then the guy in the giant robot can then apply that. So it's a really great system and a way of making sure that the people in the background aren't just in the background, that they can actually do useful things. From the game at conventions, it's gone really well. Uh, everything seems to work just fine. If not, I'm sure you'll kit bash it. Um, so yeah, I recommend that you buy my game. And that's hardly the biggest and most amazing revelation in the world, but there you go. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And if you like emotion-driven mecha action in a vaguely plausible universe that addresses the original themes of things like Godzilla and so on, then knock yourself out, have fun. Take care. If you like what I do here, please like, subscribe. You can find me on social media on Twitter at Grimachu, James Desborough on Facebook, James Grim Desborough on G+. My main website is postmortemstudios.wordpress.com. If you want to help me out with a little money, which will go to support my games, writing, and other projects, you can do so at Patreon, which is also Grimachu.